It's a pretty crunchy shirt. So we can go back to the two guys and then we'll, and then we'll do the plug. All right, you ready to go for one? Uh-huh. Cool. Let's go. Billie Eilish answers increasingly personal questions as the camera moves closer to her face. All right. Cool. And then let's uh, go and find her, too. Identity. How have you been lately? I've been good. Getting, uh, not enough sleep. Any habits that you're trying to break? Ooh. Um. Jeez. Not really. I think, honestly, I'm sleeping, like, going to sleep late. Like, I can't stop, and I would, I would like to, so there's, there's that, definitely. How did you celebrate your 18th birthday? I had a party back when it was legal. Um, it was the best, like probably one of the best nights of my life. We had a bounce house. <laughs> it was good. I went to Taco Bell. It was a good night. Now that you have your driver's license and can vote, are there other everyday life goals you have? That I haven't achieved yet? Um, tons. Um, I don't know. I want to, like, drive to, like, Costco and, like, go get, like, something from Costco alone. I don't know. Just, like, grown-up <laughs> Go to Home Depot. Some I don't know. What are you afraid of? Um... Mm. my loved one's well-being, health, anything that has to do in, with that subject. Where do you go to find peace? I take a bath. I drive. I go 120 on the freeway. It's a specific kind of piece, but it is a kind of piece. Don't try it at home. What do you hope the world will look like when you're 80? Girl, I'm not gonna live till 80. None of us are. are you kidding me? We have like 10 years left. Um, if I were to live till 80, I hope, I mean, the world will have to look like this if I even live till 80 because I wouldn't have otherwise, but we got to help the environment. That's what I hope. I hope that the world doesn't say it's over for you bitches and then kill us all. Um, I hope that people are more understanding. I hope that people will just shut the f up sometimes. That's what I hope. When in your life have you felt the most trapped? Um, when I was in a relationship that was a very emotionally abusive. Damn, this is genius. My face getting redder and redder. Are you mad at me for any of that, guys? <laughs> oh, pfft. Fame. What are three words you would use to describe fame? Overwhelming. Um, surreal. And... Um, shocking. What's the best part about being famous? I would say... I think just 
you know, being able to say something and be heard. Like, yeah, just having an outlet, having a voice and a platform is amazing and rare and I don't know, there's a lot of good things though, but I would say that that is a very important one and I think I, I try to take that in as much as possible. What's the worst thing about being famous? No privacy um, ever again in any way at all. <laughs> Do you ever get the chance to forget you're a celebrity? Sometimes when yeah, sometimes I'm, I think when I'm at my parents' house, when I'm, you know, scootering around, biking around, um, or like in the ocean, weirdly. It's kind of a random one, but there's little things, definitely. What do you hate the most about the internet? Ooh, girl, I hate a lot of things about the internet. Um, I love the internet too, but. God, what do I hate the most? I think the... Yeah, just like everybody believing everything they see just because it's written down somewhere. You know, it could, be, it could be the biggest lie ever and it's like, you just believe it if it's on the internet, it's weird. When in your career did you feel the most vulnerable? The week after the Grammys. Why? Why? <laughs> um, well, because I had just lived through an unbelievable experience and I was filled with joy and excitement and, and you know, shock and disbelief and, you know, getting compliments left and right. And at the same time, the entire internet was telling me I didn't deserve it. So it was a weird week. It was very, um, it was weird, but. Who got the Grammys? Me. What one thing would you tell someone who wishes they were you? Don't wish you were me. You, it's, not, it's not what you think, and also, you don't want to be anyone but yourself. I cannot stress it enough. I, we, you know, you want to be you. You have your life, and that's, that's such a blessing to have your own life, you know? know yourself and you know and you can also make your life what you want it to be and if you were somebody else you wouldn't be able to do that you know I mean obviously we can't really be anyone else practically but even if we could I think we're better off as ourselves